Glenn Luca serves institutional clients. What kind of opportunities are they looking for in, in tokenized assets and how, you know, how, how is that demand looking in 2024? I think one of the biggest uh, benefits of tokenization and the huge ecosystem that it represents is it literally is the bridge between traditional finance and crypto in a lot of respects, or as someone on the panel said, digital and non-digital worlds, right? And what I mean by that is you can have use cases where more traditional institutions, whether in the finance industry or not, get access to tokenization through digital asset ecosystem firms and get a chance to participate in things that they traditionally would not, right? At the same time, there's been a huge interest, and we go back to BlackRock and other traditional financial firms, right, that are allowing digitally native or crypto native firms to participate in money market funds, right? So if you have, uh, you know, regimes where either staking in crypto or other return profiles are not uh, matching up to what you get in the more traditional world in terms of interest rates and risk-free generated returns, right? Tokenization in one large aspect is a bridge that will connect uh, the two worlds together in a much more efficient firm, and that's exactly where the institutions come in.